Well, welcome back. When we last left our spider robot, we had given it a special method for walking and gave it a parameter so we could control how many steps. However, we didn't coordinate the timing of the legs with the time that it took it to move. So we need to do something about that. Uh, first of all, let's add one more parameter that tells it how far to go. And we'll call it how many meters, just to remind ourselves that we're measuring in meters here. And we'll use that to replace the explicit two meters specification that we have here. And now we'll go back. And for now, we don't want to change anything. So let's set that to two meters and play it again. So it moves the same distance, but we still have the problem with the legs taking too long to make their movements. So let's examine the problem and let's make a little more room for ourselves here. The problem is that each leg movement should be, should take rather, the total time that the robot is moving divided by the number of steps it takes, also divided by two because the leg moves in two directions. So in our original setup, where the robot moved for one second, each leg movement was a quarter second because the robot was taking two steps, that's one half second, and then divided by two again for the back and forth movement. So that ended up as a quarter second. So before we fix this, let's add one more parameter for the number of seconds. and we'll substitute that for the duration of movement. So now we can control the number of seconds the robot moves. Now obviously we will have to do a calculation for each of the legs, but in order to do that calculation only once, let's create a variable to store the result. And we do that by clicking Create New Variable. And let's just call this leg seconds. Click OK. And by default, any new numeric variable you create is initialized to 1. Now notice, this is not a parameter. This is what is called a local variable. And if we go back and look at the call, the leg seconds doesn't appear, just our three parameters. So in order to calculate the right value, we will have to set this variable in the code. To do that, we drag it into the code. And what we want to do is set the value. And we don't want a fixed value, but we want to choose an expression. And for starters, let's just use how many seconds. We'll have to adjust this, but when we're doing a calculation, we have to build it step by step. So for now, leg seconds is set to the total number of seconds, or how many seconds the robot is moving. Now to start, let's put this variable in place for each of the leg movements, replacing the fixed one quarter second value. So that's pretty simple. We, oops, I don't want to do that. We just, we take the, uh, the variable definition up here, not this statement. So we'll just stick that there and here and here. And finally here. All right, now how long should it take those legs to move? It should be the total of number of seconds 
divided by the total number of steps divided by 2. And as I indicated before, we build up these expressions step by step. So let's click here and we choose math. And we choose how many seconds divided by, and once again, we don't want a fixed number, we want an expression. So we go down here, we go down here to expressions, and we want to divide how many seconds by how many steps. Now it would have been easier to just type that, I think, but that's the way Alice prevents you from making mistakes. You only have options among what is legal in the programming language to put at any particular point. So we have how many seconds divided by how many steps. And as I said before, because the legs go back and forth, we have to divide by 2. Fortunately, that's much easier. We click here, go to math, how many seconds divided by how many steps divided by, and we can just click on 2. And if I was thinking straight, that should do it. Let's see what our robot does now. Well, that was pretty close. Uh, I don't know if that was exactly right. Now, just to show how flexible it is, let's have it take, oh, let's reduce the number of steps to three, and let's have it take uh, two seconds to move. And let's see what happens this time. Well, I think that was pretty good. So once again, as an exercise, I'd like you to basically duplicate what I did here. Uh, once again, I will give you the starting code and let you go through the steps to get the feel of it. So dig in, have fun, and contact me if you have any questions.